hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's learn screw tool so we have screw modifier and screw tool there are two different things before starting let me know which is your favorite modeling software is it blender or anything else and why is it your favorite you have modifier section here and then if you just go here you have a screw modifier so this is completely different to what I'm talking right now. So right now I've got a mesh cube and I'm selecting this uh, mesh cubes component by pressing tab. And then if I go to the component mode or edit mode, you have in edge uh, a screw modifier, okay, screw tool, okay. So you can call it a screw tool rather than screw modifier because modifier is here. So this screw tool is under the edge section. So obviously it should work for edges. So let's see how I can generally use it. So I'm uh, selecting the face. I'm deleting them. And then I'm going to select one of the edge here. Okay. And I'm going to apply a screw modifier. And you should be able to see you got a result there. And what's the result and how is it going to come? Let's have a look on that carefully. And let me select the whole ring. And then when I apply the screw, uh, you may not get a result because you have selected full circle. Uh, you should have a starting point and the end point when you're doing it. Let's say if I select these three instead of four and then apply screw, you get the result. So that's something really important about this. So uh, I'll show you a couple of examples on how I use the screw modifier. So let's explore this uh, screw tool so here i've got a cube okay i'm selecting that i'm pressing tab to get into the edit mode then if you press one two three you can change between the component types so when you press one it is vertex press two it's edge press three it's face okay so i'm selecting the uh, vert vertices here people often use the scale tool or you can use the merge tool i'm using merge so i'm pressing m on the keyboard then you get this small context menu and then i'm going to choose merge at the center so you got a vertex i can just select that vertex and i can move it aside so i'm holding control and just moving it and then i can go to the orthographic view and i can generally draw something okay so i'm just moving that point there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control right click and then I'm going to add a point there. Okay. Then what you should get is um, a small line, which is again open line. It's not a closed line. So I'm going to select the edge components and I'm going to uh, move this. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to use the screw tool. So select that and then immediately what you got is uh, a menu here okay so you can expand that and then what you are seeing here is first axis so I just wanted the axis to be let's say 0 um, 0 and 1 so I want the axis to be the Z axis along around that you get the spiral happening okay the screw is uh, rotating or revolving around it and then the center is here so I can select the Y and then increase the center. Okay. So I can just increase the center like that. Or I can generally move the X center. So moving Z center doesn't affect because it's vertical. So I've got this uh, screw. Now you have the steps and the turns. So I'm going to uh, put the turn to one and you should able to see from this uh, line to that line that was one level of increment so that object has moved to the next level here so what is deciding the placement of the second one is the first vertex and the last vertex that is really important so if i choose the second turn and third turn uh, sorry third turn fourth turn and you get that uh, screw resulting up not only that you got the axis subdivisions or you can say steps that can constantly increase there so that's really cool so i'll just i'll undo it and then i just go to the orthographic view select this vertex 
and then I'm going to move it outside. Okay. Now, as I told you, the total line what I am um, I got here that will be copied. I mean, this result will you know copy and then start from this line. Then again, you get this line. So. Uh, the the vector what you have inside is going to decide um, you know uh, whether the screw should go uh, straight or it should be tapered so if I just move it maybe uh, slightly like that okay and then select the edge component and then use the screw tool then you should be able to see this tapering effect is happening that's really important about this so when you're drawing this shape you take care of that okay so you can uh, use a lot of techniques to build screw models anything which is basically in terms of threading uh, you might have a lot of objects around so wherever you feel that it's useful you can try it okay